A ground state hydrogen atom N equals 1 absorbs a 94.92 nanometer photon. What is the new value of N? So to solve this problem, we will use the Rydberg equation, which is 1 over lambda. That's equal to the Rydberg constant, R infinity. That's the symbol for the Rydberg constant, times 1 over n initial squared minus 1 over n final squared. So let's substitute the values into the equation. 1 over lambda. So our lambda here is 94.92 nanometers. First thing you need to do is to convert this to meters before you can plug this into the Rydberg equation. Okay? So how do you convert nanometers to meters? You divide it by 10 to the power of 9. So 94.92 divided by 10 to the power of 9, that is equal to 9.492 times 10 to the negative 8, and this is already in meters. So let's substitute that. That will be your wavelength in meters, 9.492 times 10 to the negative 8. And then we have R subscript infinity or the Rydberg constant. This value is something you should memorize or you have already known. The value of Rydberg constant, I will just write it on the screen. That's 10973 731.57. That's the value of the Rydberg constant times 1 over n initial squared. The initial value of n is 1. So 1 squared minus 1 over. We don't know the final n yet. So that's just nf squared. Okay, so we will be solving for nf. nf this is the unknown. So first thing you need to do is you divide both sides of the equation by the Rydberg constant. So 1097373131.57. You also do that on the left side divided by 10973731.57. This cancels on the right side. So on the left side you have 1 divided by 9.492 times 10 to the negative 8. And then the answer to that, you divide it by the right per constant. And this will give you approximately 0 0.96 if you round off. So 0 0.96, the left side is 0 0.96. On the right side, you have 1 divided by 1 raised to 1. That's just equal to 1 minus 1 over nf squared. Okay, so next step is you can transfer this 1 to the left side. It becomes a negative. So 0 0.96 minus 1. On the right side, you have negative 1 over nf squared. So 0 0.96 minus 1, that is negative 0 0.04. On the right side, you have negative 1 over nf squared. So both sides are negatives. So what you can do, you can cancel the negatives. So let's continue here. 
our equation would be 0 0.04 on the left side. On the right side, that's 1 over nf squared. So how do we solve now for nf? We cross multiply. We transfer nf to the left side. So that's 0 0.04 nf squared equal to 1. Divide both sides by 0 0.04. 0 0.04 cancels on the left side. So on the left side, we have nf squared equal to the right side, 1 divided by 0 0.04. That is 25. So how do we get for nf? Just take the square root of both sides. So square root of nf squared is just nf. Square root of 25 is 5. So the final value of n, or the new value of n, according to the problem, that's what's being asked, is 5. So the answer is 5.